Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about ways to stress a syllable. So first of all, let me talk about what is stress. Stress is the emphasis or the power you put behind a syllable to make it more emphasized than the other parts of the word. So let me give you an example. In the word education, there are four syllables, education. And the one we put the most stress on is K. Education, right? Education. It's um, the part of the syllable we stress the most, uh, most, and that's how people can understand you. Stress is really important to getting people to understand you because if you stress the wrong syllable, people have a hard time understanding you. So I am going to give you three key ways to stress a syllable so that you can be understood, okay? And I have chosen today three different verbs that can be stressed differently depending on whether they are used as nouns or verbs. So let me tell you them as nouns. Um, present, record, and rebel. Those are the noun versions of these three ver or these three words. But then the verb versions are present, record, and rebel. Do you hear a difference? Present, present, record, record, rebel, rebel. So in this situation, um, nouns, two-syllable nouns, are often emphasized or stressed in the first syllable. Present, record, rebel. Two-syllable verbs are often given stress in the second syllable. Present, record, rebel. So how do you make the sounds to make it more stressed? Well, here are the three keys to stressing a syllable. Number one is that the stressed syllable has a clear vowel. That means that you pronounce the vowel um, in an unreduced form. So let me give you an example with present. Okay, present, that's the noun form of this word here, present. With present, the vowel in the first syllable is the e eh sound, e, eh, present. But in the second syllable, you can hear that it's not a clear vowel. It's kind of an a uh sound, present, present, or like an e eh sound, present. It's not present, present. I reduced that vowel in the second syllable, but the first syllable is really clear, e. Eh. So, or let me do another one with um, record, record. It's really clear. Um, however, when you switch to the other one and you wanna make present a verb, it would sound like present, present. When I'm stressing the second syllable, the E in the second syllable is really strong, right? It's very clear, eh. It's not the I eh or a uh sound that's reduced, but it's the clear eh, short E sound. Present, present. And, and notice with the first syllable in that one, that vowel becomes unclear, right? It's a little less clear, so it's pr, uh. It's that uh schwa sound present, right? Okay, so let's go on to the second way to stress a syllable, and that is by creating a longer vowel. So let's look at record and record. In the noun version, um, when I say record, record, the first syllable is a little bit longer, or the first vowel. When I go to the verb version of that word, it's record, record. Can you hear that I make the vowel longer? The O is longer. Record, record, right? So if you want to stress the syllable, make it a longer vowel. So the third way that you stress a syllable is by making it a little higher in pitch or tone. So what is pitch? 
Well, I'm not really a singer, but I'm going to sing for you, okay? So pitch is like, la, 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 okay? Um, we use this in our voice. Um, English is not a tonal language, but we do use different tones to stress or emphasize a word. So um, in the situation with, um, let's do the verb, rebel, rebel. You can hear me go up in pitch. Uh, 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 rebel. It goes up in tone. Um, so um, when you have rebel, rebel, you can hear the pitch go down. So the stress syllable has a higher pitch. Rebel. Uh, uh. Okay, can you hear the difference? All right, so those are my three keys. Um, you can practice this with any word that's two syllables or more. The syllable that should be stressed, make sure it has a clear vowel, a longer vowel sound, and a higher pitch. So comment below with words that you would like to know more about stress. And you can even comment with a video. I would love to see you pronounce some words and I'll make sure that I comment and let you know that you're, if you're doing it correctly, okay? So I'll see you in my next lesson.